Nick, you and I have waited all year for this. It's the most exciting, action-packed two weeks in all of sports, and it tips off in today's game between the Georgia Bulldogs and the Stephen F. Austin Lumberjacks. It's showtime, baby. Let's get the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Lumberjacks are looking at an uphill climb tonight, Dick. What are the keys to victory for them? Here are my keys for him, Brad. Number one, it's up to the point guard to be the leader, to control the entire tempo of the game. Secondly, reward your big man for working hard down low. Get him the ball, baby. If he has position, get the rock to him immediately. Lastly, get busy battling for the boards. Winning teams always rebound well. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Gave it up. Number 44 handles the feed. Tries one from three-point land. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Unloads a three. Way off target. And now they'll bring it up. He shoots from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. Feed the low block. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. And the ball goes out of bounds. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. He may be in trouble here. Buried it. Down inside and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Number 33 is fired up and ready to go. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. High stepping it, man. Take a look right here. Little burst to go up in shorts. Little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. He unloads a three, way off target. The point guard receives the pass. On the outside, the shooting guard handles the pass. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Goes up for two, drains it. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. the pass looking for contact they've yet to put together a decent string of good looks at the basket hey they're getting frustrated and playing right into the defense's hand number zero in the paint drops the bucket despite the harm on the dribble gives it up gave it up on the inside, leans in. Great play to take that to the basket. Up and inside. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. They go into the low block. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. Off the rim and no good. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Defensively try to stay with his man, and he's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Very slow inside, and they attack him aggressively. Those long arms trying to get him in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing. That big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Gets it to fall. The dribble gives it up. Number 30 receives the ball. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. <laughs> hey, 
Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Number two is charged with the foul. Now trying to feed the low block. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Pushes it up. Gave it up. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Top spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He tries to knock down the three. Goes in. This is simply a great play, Brad. Both teams are looking to get something going here. The crowd is definitely doing their thing. Listen to the chant. It really is something, isn't it? the dribble gives it up from left of the circle that was nice great steal I think the pressure was just too much tremendous pressure just enough to force the steal oh the cheerleaders into it big time for their team they are really involved I'll tell you one thing they bring a lot of spirit he goes to the line for the first time Misses the free one. Gets the second. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Up and inside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. At some point, his team is going to have to step up and play on his level. He's carrying them right now. There he is, strips the ball loose. For the bucket. Up and in. Step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Gave it up. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot.
He's got the post flashing if he wants it. He shoots from left of the circle, and he misses the shot. to the basket. Thinks about the shot. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. And a momentary look from three-point land. Way off target. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Vicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. They run him right into the screen again. What did I say? And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. the dribble gives it up that spin move's not going to work against the defense like that I tell you they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin here's a double team the ball goes out of bounds let's go to the third member of our broadcast team here's aaron andrews well brad and dick how about this crowd they're enjoying this close matchup and there's nothing better than a close game during tournament time thanks aaron Terrible execution on offense. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. From right in the circle, off the rim, and no good. the perimeter in the paint gliding in for the jam sliding and gliding nobody rotated over the defense moves so slowly jumps into the defender he made great use of the screen to put up an easy score they move it into the front court Gave it up, way out on top, controlling the ball. Can't get the shot to drop. Tries for two. He's clearly forcing things right now, Dick. He's taking his team out of the game. On the inside. There's the screen up on top. Georgia have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. Goes up for two and off the mark. Dick, he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot get help from the help side and really do a great job seeing ball in there. On the outside. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. They 
There's the pick. There's the roll. Doesn't go. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of Pack. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. On the dribble, gives it up. Fakes a jumper, looking for a good shot. Shoots from outside, way off target. Dick, they just can't get the shot over the zone. It's a great execution on D. Look at that space. The skip pass is picked off. Number 33 makes a great move to draw the foul. My goodness, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out. The Bulldogs will step to the line for the first time. First one, good. Georgia is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Left him a nylon, MBN. That was a definite blow to one team's composure. Let's see how or if this will affect the team. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. He uses the shot fake. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR? Hey, where's Mr. Petty? to pick up the defense here now. Strong rebound. Good rebound position. They need to get out and run their lanes now. Good job defensively. Gave it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Looking for a good shot. Too physical. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. He hits the first shot. Terrible free throw. He takes the board. the dribble gives it up for two and in and out takes away the pass long lead pass tries for two and he missed
makes the pass in the paint. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Moving it around the perimeter. Number 31, pump fakes. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's watch the defense down in the low block. See, first initially he wants a free quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Number five comes up with it. From way outside. Off the rim and no good. On the outside. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Tries to get the D to bite. And he'll kick it back outside. Now they work it around the perimeter. There's the fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? From the top of the circle. Stephen F. Austin are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. On the inside. For the bucket. In and out. Gave it up. That's been moves not going to work against a defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. There's a high screen. And he scores despite the hack. Big man spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. The Bulldogs have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. For two, perfectly executed. Brad, if they were smart, they'd go two for one. Up fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the top of the key. There was no doubt about that one. Shot clock is dead. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. And the ball goes out of bounds. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. The ball goes out of play. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. From right at the circle. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. At the end of the first half, the Bulldogs lead by three. 
This one's been a nail biter so far, Dick. What play do you think set the tone in the first half, in your opinion? I think the kind of highlight that only a coach can love, Brad. His team working the ball down low to their big man for the inside basket. Well, it looks like the teams are just about set for the second half. Let's get back to the action. Stephen up Austin turned the ball over quite a few times in that first half, Dick. The heads just aren't in the game. Some of the turnovers were unforced and playing silly, if you ask me. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. They're working around the perimeter. The fake. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the top of the circle. Way off target. Tries for two. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. The power forward gets the ball. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And, oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Dumps it in. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Not a great decision there to shoot the ball. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. The power forward gets the pass. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And he'll kick it back outside. Number five is pounded on his way up. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. They haven't been able to put it in from the line all night. Hey, this is how you win ball games, guys. Misses the second. This team has got to be so frustrated, they are terrible at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Frustration only makes it worse, Brad. They have to figure out what they're doing wrong and fix it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important on how talented blocks that they have. Yeah, that helps. They're going to call that a backcourt violation. Somebody got a little nervous that time, Rat. They're set to throw it in from the side. He looks for the bomb. He can't get the bucket to fall. They're working around the arc. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. On the outside, gave it up, picked off. On the dribble, gives it up. Now they work it around the perimeter, makes the shot. Come up with a steal, and they do. On the inside for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He takes the shot off the baseline. Can't put it down. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Stolen away. Look at that spacing. The small forward takes. 
takes the feed. Pump fakes. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. The center with the ball. And they come with a double team to stop it. Great play to take that to the basket. The power forward takes the pass. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Pass is thrown down court. He takes the shot from the baseline. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. This is a one-man show right now, Brad. This is supposed to be a team game. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Bob, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. They work the perimeter. On the outside. He goes for three. He's taking a lot of bad shots out there, Dan. I know he's trying to catch fire, Brad, but it's just not there. Sets the screen for his teammate. He gets the rejection. He hits the shot. The Lumberjacks are trailing by six. Step in. Oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Picks off the lazy pass. Up and inside. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love him. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. First one, good. Gets his second. The Bulldogs lead by six. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He launches a three. Nice shot. Defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. He shoots from the top of the circle. No. They're working around the perimeter. Gave it up. There's the trap. Steal. And back they come the other way. Nice little jam right there. The one hand jam and stuff. A little showtime, a little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. He shoots from long range. Off the rim and no good. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help soft. For the deuce, he's just not seeing the floor, Dick. He doesn't want to, Brad. He wants to score, and I'll tell you, that ain't good for team morale, baby. In the paint. Pushing that basketball. Goes up for two. Dick, he's simply on fire. Hey, grow the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Number. 
He throws it up from downtown. Great shot. Beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. High screen. They'd like to get it inside of the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. There's a double team waiting there. He lets it go. Rims out. Jumped in front to take it away. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. On the dribble, gives it up. He goes with a baby hook. Stephen F. Austin had put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Now the high screen. Side. And has it rejected. He fetched it a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of play. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. For the bucket. Doesn't go. Gave it up. Picks off the pass. He shoots from left of the circle. Let's go back and watch that basket again. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Goes up for two. Intercepted. Tries for two. Off the rim and no good. Working it around the perimeter. Great defense. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Up it inside. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. He launches the bomb. Rims out. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, down here on the sidelines, there is such intensity from both benches. Both coaches are emphasizing shot selection and defensive stops. So important here in the second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. They'll work it around the arc. 
And he'll kick it back outside. Harm and foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. He'll visit the charity strike. Gets his first. He makes the second shot. Third shot, good. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Screen so effective that screen. A whistle and a foul, and the coach not happy on the sideline. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. It's a fast break possibility. Number five draws the personal. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He goes to the line. Misses the first shot. A less than stellar performance, I'd say, at the line tonight. Less than stellar? You're too nice a guy, Brad. They're shooting horribly from the line tonight. He can't get one to fall. And they're catching nothing but iron at the free throw line, Dick. They're going to catch more than that from their coach if they don't start putting him down, Brad. Picked out of the air. Looking for a good shot. He gets the shot to fall. That's an 8-0 run. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented marks up there. Yeah, that helps. You can see on the replay how this one goes down. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Just too slow to stay with his man, Dick, and he picks up the foul. Well, two mistakes. Number one, he lets him get the ball in that deep. And number two, he doesn't have any footwork and doesn't move and beat him to the spot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. For two. Steven at Boston are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Moving it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up for the deuce. He comes up empty. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up to get in triple threat positions. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Step out on that screener. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. The ball goes out of bounds. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Cross court. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Nine seconds on the shot clock. 
Gave it up. He shoots from the baseline. He buries the shot. I think a defensive stop on this possession, Dick, will have this crowd just roaring. Slaps the rock out of there. Oh, hard screen set on the defender. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Count that as a personal foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Brad, I'm afraid to hear this crowd. If they can get a stop in this possession. I get not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. The kick out. Takes it off him. They work it around the perimeter. He unloads a three. He buries it. move not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. For the bucket, Stephen F. Austin are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Up for two. Easy one. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see wrong man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Number four. He hit the deuce and the foul is called. Nice job of absorbing the foul and keeping his focus. With the free one. Just like in practice. It's down to a one-point game, Dick. Yes, sir. This is where the big boys start to play, Brad. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Tempo of the game really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Gave it up. They work it back to the outside. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. We got a timeout on the floor, and with that, let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. It's always interesting to see who's still hot and who's not after a timeout, Dick. Well, you got to think the shooters might be the most effective, Brad. Faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. I 
mind seeing him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. It's a one-point game. One point usually means free throws, Brad. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Steals the pass. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from the elbow. Off the rim and no good. On the outside. Takes away the pass. The ball goes out of play. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital away. Shot clock is dead. Did a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit side. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. And yet another foul. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. Number two going to the charity stripe for the first time tonight. Makes the front end of the one and one. He misses his second shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Very soft defensively. No pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He steps up to the line. Everything looked good but the result. like we're ready to step back out onto the court. He throws up the shot. He hits it. from downtown. Dick, we're overtime bound. I knew this one was going to be one of the great ones, Mr. Nestler. At the end of regulation, these teams are tied. The only thing I don't like about this is somebody's got to lose this. When you get to the NCAA tournament, all of a sudden you're in overtime. Five more minutes or more. It can't get much more exciting than this. I think it's going to be Heartbreak Hotel for one of these clubs. I mean Heartbreak Hotel. They have played their hearts out. Both these clubs executed, defended well. But somebody's going to leave here with an L. And the ball goes out of play. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. With the fake. He takes the shot off the baseline. He gets it to go. He shoots from the angle. Rims out. For two. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. They 
Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. High post screen, gonna use it. If they can get off some good shots and easy buckets, they might turn around this awful stretch of shooting for them, Brad. Easier said than done, though, right now, Dick. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. set up but the shot won't go he strips him clean that's a high post screen goes to the lane for the bucket they still don't score Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. And he'll kick it back outside. He launches the bomb. Questionable shot selection there. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside troopers. They've got to attack inside and then out. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Finger roll. Defense all over him here. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. The dribble gives it up. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. He shoots from downtown. So time out on the floor. And that gives us a break to go courtside. Here's Aaron. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Do you think they switch things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. Up and inside. Tries for two. They're really losing confidence with their poor shooting at the time, Dick. Hey, nothing that a couple of fast break dunks could cure. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. And in and out. Gave it up. For two. And off the mark. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. We've got ourselves a dandy here, folks. The lead has been trimmed to four. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Off the rim and no good. And the great defense. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Nobody likes this point of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. He'll have one and the bonus. 
Hits that one. Sinks it. A basket here will make this a two-possession game. Six points separating these two squads. This is no time to get complacent, Brad. Off the mark with a shot. And yet another foul. Number 50 is going to the line. Makes it. Misses the second. I'm out. change in direction here, Dick. I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. He puts it up. You can't go those kind of stretches against a team of this quality and expect to win. He's got some room. All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on. One team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, I'll tell you, won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Georgia opened the tournament with an impressive first-round victory. Winning that game was so important. A big first win that only keeps the team's championship hopes alive, but does wonders to calm these kids' nerves entering the second round. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.